Guys, it's that time of year again for the holiday gift guide by GetZone.com. This is the gear edition, and man, do we have some cool gear to show you. And we really appreciate GetZone.com for putting all this together. The Burris BTS 50. This is a thermal imaging scope. And guys, I'm just going to tell you up front, uh, I am buying this scope, uh, and it's not cheap, but I have been so impressed with it. Uh, we're not going to be able to get into all the details uh, here on the gift guide, but we are going to be doing a full review on this coming up on the Suits channel. Now, one of the things about the body is all aluminum construction. It's not polymer. I mean, it is solid. And that speaks a lot about these optics. Burris is making not only the rifle scopes, and then they have a clip-on version that will mount directly to your scope, and they're making a handheld version. The BTS-50 has a 50 millimeter objective lens. The BTS-35 has a 35 millimeter objective lens. We have a lens cover and it's rubberized and then it has little arms so it's tethered to your scope. A lot of times with thermal, I mean you can see the image and it's a deep color, whatever your color palette is, but the detail is lost. And that's one of the things that about Burris, they've really stepped it up to where the detail is really clear. Typically night vision, you identify, and then with thermal, you locate. There is a balance, but I think we're getting more to the locating and identifying with this BTS-50. You have a focus ring right here, so you can adjust your focus. Here at the back, we have a rubberized blinder. You can put your eye right up to it. It takes away all the light around your eye and allows you to really see your target. Uh, and then we have a focus adjustment here at the back to kind of clarify the thermal images. Here we have a battery cap. You can turn this and it pops out an 18650 battery. Now I love that because I can carry extra 18650s, throw them in there, but this will go for three hours, which is pretty good. But you can carry a couple of extra 18650s. They are rechargeable and they have a charger included. Here we have our power button. Just power on and hold it down until you see the Burris image come up in your scope. And then it'll go to the thermal image. This is your roller button. Uh, if you just turn it, then it will increase the digital focus. It goes from 1x to 2x to 4x. And there's some other settings that you can program in here. But if you want to get to your menu, just press... And then when you press, and then you turn this to go to your different menu items. And guys, there are a ton of different features under the menu. And it's pretty self-explanatory once you look in through it. And again, you can choose seven different palette options. Uh, it goes from black hot to white hot to red hot, one, two, and three, to green hot, and then to blue hot. Now, the camera is not really picking it up like it should uh, because I'm using a phone and it's very difficult to get it lined up. But I wanted to at least give you a good idea. Now, it recalibrates every once in a while, but it's really quick. And so I was really impressed with that as well. It stays pretty calibrated for an extended period of time. But you can go through the brightness settings. You can go through contrast. You can go through ranging. One thing I really like, too, is you choosing the different reticles. Uh, you can go to what they call the PIP picture in picture or it's double magnification to what the screen is showing so if you're on zoom one and you click PMP you'll have a 2x little window at the top if you go to 2x you will have a 4x window at the top and this really allows you to get on target when you're out looking with a large field of view but yet you can get that really tight spot that is really impressive how they put that together even during the daytime, we took it out and shot it, and we wanted to see how we were picking things up, and we could see very well uh, with the thermal imaging. Because it does pick up a heat signature, but it does give you a lot of detail as you're looking out through it. Fits on the scope nice. It's really easy to be able to dial in. The Burris BTS-50 and BTS-35. Excellent scopes. Weapons mount right onto your rifle, or again, you can get the clip-on or the handheld. And it's really great to see Burris, who has been around for decades, putting out some really high-quality thermal imaging scopes. And for more information about the thermal imaging scopes or their regular quality scopes, uh, go to BurrisOptics.com. Guys, when you go to the range with your AR, it's great to have the right tools because what can go wrong will go wrong. And if you go enough, you're going to have issues. Uh, we're going to look today at the Real Avid. This is the AR-15 Critical Task Carry Tool. Uh, they make a number of different products for the AR-15, and so this is one of the tools that they sent for the guide. Now, it's made from real solid construction. Uh, one thing that they have that's embedded is you can unscrew this, 
and this is actually a sight tool but it locks it down as a carabiner and then we can pull this out and now we have a sight tool but also we have a punch where we can take out our pins on the side of our AR-15 and this is real easy to push those pins out and that gets you right to the inside of your rifle you can take the sight pusher tool tighten it down bring it back and then it locks right on your molly webbing and so you can keep it secure and carry it with you wherever you're going. Now here we have a firing pin scraper and also a bolt carrier group scraper here. So we can get into our bolt, we can keep that carbon clean going around uh, and this is a great tool to be able to keep that scraped off. And then also we have the firing pin cleaner which this can just go down over your firing pin and you can turn it and it cleans off the carbon buildup on your firing pin. These also have locks, so you don't have to worry about them snapping back and closing. And then on this side, we have the bolt scraper. There are 12 different surfaces to be able to clean your bolt. And so there's a number of ways to get down into your bolt system and to be able to keep it clean and again, keep it running right. And that carbon buildup gets really tough. Man, I'll tell you what guys, these get dirty. You need something to keep that carbon down and keep it clean. And again, we have a lock, we can close that down. Here on the top, we have a small bolt override tool. Uh, and then we have a scope adjuster here where you can adjust those scope turrets. Now the bolt override is when your round gets lodged up into the upper part of the receiver. It's not going into the chamber and it's stuck on the bolt. And sometimes you can take a knife, but you can really scratch up your rifle. The bolt override tool allows you to get a hold of it and to pull it out. And then on the other side, we have a bottle opener and we have a cord cutter. And guys, when you're taking your AR-15, being a gas impingement system, it does put a lot of carbon into the action. So it's really important to have a tool like this, especially if you're firing a lot of rounds, to be able to keep that rifle maintained and keep it clean. With the Cerakote finish, with the black oxide and the stainless steel parts, I mean, this is going to last for a long time. And it's just a really solid tool. It has a good heft to it. And so when you're out there in the field, at the range, you're going to be able to use this no matter what you're doing. And for more information, you can go to realavid.com. Steiner Optics has just released their Predator series for their scopes. Uh, they did make a binocular series, but this is a 4x16x50 by by objective. It's a very lightweight, very streamlined scope. Again, designed for hunters in mind. The magnification ring from 4 to 16 is very smooth. And you have this small notch to be able to really get a hold of it, but it is a rubberized coating. Also, we have the diopter that can focus in on the reticle, and this also has a rubberized coating as well. Turrets easily come off, and one click equals quarter MOA adjustments. It's tactile, it's audible. This is an illuminated scope, and it does have 11 different settings with off settings in between. And the first five are daylight bright, and then you go down to the low light or night settings. And it uses one of the CR2032 batteries, which is common for most scopes. Parallax adjustment right here from 20 all the way to infinity. This will give you parallax adjustment uh, out to longer distances. Honestly, up to about 100 yards, you don't need it. But if your eye is not directly behind the reticle, the parallax adjustment will line it up and it will help to focus in on your target. The eye relief is three and a half inches, and with the diamond coated HD glass, the clarity and light transmission in this scope is just excellent. This is perfect for low light and definitely for most of your hunting scenarios. Now the scope is waterproof, it's fog proof, it's nitrogen filled. It weighs 18.8 ounces, so it's fairly lightweight and it's 14 and three quarter inches in length. The reticle system is the E3. Uh, it's a very simple setup, but it does have bullet drop from 100 dead on to 200 first hash mark, 300, and then down to 400. It has wind holdovers at each hash mark, 5 mile an hour wind at the tip of the mark, and then the dot represents 10 mile an hour winds. The reticle posts are thick coming up, and then it goes down to a thinner line. It allows you to direct your sight. One thing I love about this scope too, especially for a hunting application, is it's not too busy. A lot of these more tactical scopes have a lot going on. This is very simple, yet it gives you what you need with bullet drop and wind holdovers. The clarity of the glass is just exceptional. Uh, 
we expect that from Steiner quality. I'm going to show you the highest most setting. Uh, it is daylight bright, and of course you can tone that down. I love the off positions in between. This is going to give you low light if you need it, especially early morning hunting. It really makes a difference. That clarity of glass is going to give you a lot of detail. Now we're going to up our magnification. It just glides on that turret. Now Steiner Optics was founded in 1947 by Carl Steiner. Their scopes and binoculars have served the U.S. military and the German military and other militaries around the world. They're known for their durability and they're known for their excellent glass and light transmission. And that's no different than this Predator series. Uh, the glass, the HD glass is very clear. The eye relief is really nice and even in low light. It really has that low light transmission that's going to allow you to hunt even longer while you're out in the field. The controls are very easy to get to. They're very intuitive and they're very smooth and it just speaks of quality. The Steiner Predator Series scopes are made in Germany and with the excellent glass and the durability of these scopes and the confidence to know you have a Steiner mounted on your rifle. And for more information about the Steiner Predator Series, go to steiner-optics.com. Case knives have been an American tradition for over 132 years. Founded in 1889, W.R. Case is one of the most collectible knives out on the market. Today we're going to take a look at the Caribbean Blue Bone Medium Stockman. Stockman is one of their models. Uh, it comes in a number of different bone, different synthetic materials. Case has a number of different styles uh, to suit whatever you're looking for. Now these are very traditional knives. And of course today we have a lot of modern processes. But one of the things about the Case knife is that it's just really beautifully finished. And these are all made right here in the USA. Caribbean blue bone is beautiful. I mean, it's dyed this blue color, uh, and then it has the saw cut, what they call jigged, and so it gives it some texturing right here in the center, and then we have the smooth finishes on the edge. Uh, and then, of course, the oval case logo. And it has a mirror polished finish, and the fitting is just excellent. I mean, there's good reason why people have been collecting these for a number of years, and my grandfather carried a case knife for a long time because knives are really important, especially in times before working on the farm, working out in the yard, doing things. You know, having a knife in your pocket is important and having something that has this kind of tradition behind it just has some soul to it. Uh, this is, again, the medium stockman and it has, first off, a clip blade, a clip point blade. And it is the True Sharp Stainless, which is a high carbon stainless, which gives it great edge retention. Uh, and it does hold fingerprints because that finish is just well done. Uh, this is great for piercing, great for everyday work. I mean, whatever you're doing uh, gives you a lot of control over the knife. And it's just for everyday task, a very popular blade style. And then we have the Sheep's Foot. Uh, this is a straight edge with a curved back. And these were originally designed to cut the hooves of sheep. It has a very strong tip. And that way you can really get in there and it can, you can control those cuts. Um, and so this gives you a lot of controllability as you're bringing the knife back. Uh, ideal for carving and for carpentry work. And this design has been around for many years. Then here on the other side we have the spay. Um, the spay is actually designed to castrate livestock. Uh, but also skinning cane, uh, it's an all-purpose blade. There's a lot you can do with it, and it has a lot of strength. So you can really get in there and cut and be able to get, especially with skinning, you know, it makes it a really great knife to be able to get between the skin and the muscle. So this is really something that this knife in particular with these three blades, it's really a great EDC option because you can use it for so many things, whether it's the farm, the ranch, or just every day around the office. Having a small little pocket knife like this in your pocket is very useful, plus it's very low key. Now the lock is a non-locking slip joint, and so it has some pressure and some retention. So, you know, it's one of those things where traditionally this is the way people use their knives, but it doesn't have that locking blade, but it does have the retention to keep you from really accidentally closing it. But when you're working with these type knives, you need to be careful. Uh, it's 3.63 inches closed. The clip blade is 2.5 inches in length. The sheep's foot is 1.9 inches. And the spay is 1.7 inches. 
But this is a very convenient and very practical knife for everyday use. And these do have a limited lifetime warranty. Again, they are made in the USA. And it just brings you back to a time where people really depended on their knives. And that's the reason why Case Knife has been in business 132 years. And you can go to wrcase.com to find out more information. And to see all the other offerings that they have. Craft Holsters. Uh, this is a premium leather holster company. They make a number of different styles. Uh, we have an outside the waistband here. This is called the Panther. Uh, it's premium Italian leather, double stitched in all the you know really tight areas where you need to have that retention with your firearm. It has a nice shirt guard. The leather is beautiful. Uh, this is the mahogany, but it also comes in a black. Um, and they make a number of different styles, a number of different colors. And then also we have an inside the waistband, and this is the Lynx. Uh, this has the two loops that actually fit under your belt. And because this is more of the pancake style, uh, it contours to your body. Also, the loops can be changed uh, to fit whatever you like to carry. And then, of course, here with these loops, they're already set. Now, this is for a one and a half inch belt but you can get expanded up to you know two inches or whatever you use. The stitching is very well done. Uh, it's also seamed uh, and it's just really well finished. They also use the wet molding process so this makes your firearm fit like a glove and it just sinks down in there. Once this is on this fits really close to the body and of course they offer it for a number of different firearms, handguns and this just happens to be for the SIG P365XL. I like that it's opened at the end but it's kind of crimped so the end of your barrel doesn't stick out and that way you're not going to get something to press up against the barrel of the gun and then loosen the holster. Now they also offer the premium holster care kit and we have a break-in liquid, we have a liquid conditioner and we have a leather balm. Uh, it comes with an applicator and also it comes with a sponge and a cloth to be able to keep these holsters in top shape. And so we took it out to the range. We wanted to test out the outside the waistband, uh, firing a few shots, drawing it, seeing how it functioned. These holsters ride really close to the body, and so I, it's really great for concealed carry, even though it's outside the waistband. It's a wide section across your body, so it fits well. Uh, then we tried the inside the waistband, and of course those loops, they just fit right in your belt. And same thing, even holstering. I didn't have any problems holstering. Um, I'm still getting used to it, uh, the way the belt set up, but still, it was really easy just to be able to enter that firearm and draw it very easily. So I'm very pleased with the holsters themselves and the kit. And for more information about Craft Holsters, go to craftholsters.com. So guys, hopefully we've had a pretty solid lineup with our gear series, and there are handgun and rifle editions as well, so check them out. And we really appreciate GetZone.com for putting all this together. Guys, they are a strong Second Amendment video platform. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. First, I want to show you the Steiner. Okay, this is not the Steiner. Man, this, you can ro rule. Okay. The turrets are no, f well, got dirt on it. Uh, the BTS 50 by Burris and also the BTS 36 are excellent scopes. I think it's the BX 36. I gotta check that. Right, sure. And uh, man, it just, well, hit the stupid camera. They're predator si Predator, 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 predator. This is a beautiful holster with so, I mean, it is, I mean, it is just, I mean, awesome. I mean, I can't even talk about how awesome it is.